morning, folks. Only it's kind of not. You know, every day is a good day, but some are a lot better than others. And this morning, what is today? 20, 20, 23rd, I think, of May. And it's snowing. Snowing and raining. It's kind of let up now, but look at here. The, the foothills are back to being white. That's not very far above the house at all. That was just right down there. Not a very pleasant day. But you know, it could be worse. The wind's not blowing yet. <laughs> and it has kind of quit snowing. Tomorrow they are coming to uh, do some work underneath that one building that I got to clean. The, I'm not exactly sure what they're doing. Putting in some permanent horse stalls of some sort that I guess are going to swing out of the way so I can clean them, hopefully. But uh, I got all the panels basically out of the way. I just need to uh, scrape that out, which won't take very long. Then I might be into doing some leather work for the rest of the day. There isn't anything down here that's so pressing I can't wait for a little bit better weather. The guy's over here working on the, the new bathrooms. I don't know what they're doing. I don't think a whole lot today, but they're, they're doing something over there. So, yeah. One of these days, maybe, maybe... <laughs> we'll have some spring. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, yesterday uh, I went and got that beaver trap out of the out of the spot I've been trapping that live trap, and uh, then there was the day before I had that beaver that I had a real good close up on. Uh, those two beaver were completely the opposite places. The the one that I had uh, eaten the sticks, he was from here. I'm guessing it's 40 miles away. The other one is probably 20 miles the other direction. So they're probably 50, 60 miles at least apart from each other. But, oops, here's my phone. So that was the guy bringing out those panels, so I gotta go. But uh, checking that trail camera, I'll show you the what was on it. I like this camera better than the other one. It had uh, 300 videos on it. Mostly it was wind, but there was some other neat stuff on there too. But uh, before I set that trap off with the shotgun, there was another beaver there. And I didn't get him on the camera again after that. So I don't know if he was, if he's hanging out there or if he's just passing through or just what. But I'll have to watch that spot. If he rebuilds that dam, um, I'll have to try to get him again. But the, the dam hasn't been touched. It hasn't been rebuilt. And I tore it out pretty good this time. So hopefully I'll be able to tell if he's still in there or not. But anyhow, this is what was on the camera kind of fun to watch so see you in a bit
Pretty neat stuff, huh? Those elk were kind of a surprise. That spot I'm trapping is actually just kind of an island along the river. I didn't expect to see elk there. So, anyhow, thank you for watching, and have a great day, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. So this wild view camera, so far, the couple of things I've found that I don't like about it is... Uh, can't get the date and time stamp to work. That other one I would I never could either. It says it's on there, but it's not on there. You really need that. And also the uh, the flash it lights up red. It doesn't you know it doesn't flash like a like a flash bulb would, but it uh, you can see it. And that will spook wolves, probably coyotes and things too. Bears don't really care. But, uh, I don't like that. The black flash, they call it, or something like that, those are invisible. You can't see them, and it was weird, though, my camera picks it up, but, uh, critters don't see that. So, anyway, other than that, for 39 bucks, pretty good little camera, I think.